Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales from beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. I know recently, if you've kept up with some of our videos, all we've talked about is the gloom and doom of the nasty gray clouds, rain, misting. It's 63 degrees in Paducah, February the 28th, last day of February. The sun is shining like a brand new diamond, baby. All right, so is this rig. This is a... Um, Definitely a little jewel for its age, super nice condition, and it's just the, the right package. So here we go. 2006 model Renegade Sport Deck Motorhome. Sport Deck Motorhome, meaning it has the fifth wheel hitch on the back, which can also be converted over to a gooseneck hitch if needed. I've got all the stuff in stock to do that for you. Or we can also convert the you know, the hitch on your trailer over to a fifth wheel pin to fit what's on it. But anyways, 2006 Renegade Volvo chassis. The chassis was brand new when uh, whenever this coach was built. Um, it's got the D12 Volvo 465 horsepower, which can be turned up. We could probably put a tuner and get this dude up around 5 to 550 if you need it. It's got the 12-speed Meritor auto shift transmission, meaning there's no clutch pedal. This guy, you just fire it up, let it build up air, push the parking brake in, shift gears, and, and press the gas. There's no let out on the clutch, none of that, okay? Uh, this is the bunk model. As you can see, the nice bunk over the cab. Uh, it's like having a queen-size bed above the cab. So 2006, uh, sleep six people. I believe it's around 214,000 miles, I believe is what I read. Um, Michelin tires replaced in 2020. They've got a, a late 19 date code on them. Michelin steers and then uh, Kelly on the, uh, the eight drives. They were all replaced in 2020. We just serviced this coach. We serviced the engine. Uh, we done the fuel system, of course, oil, oil filter, grease the front end, grease the chassis on it. Same deal with the generator. Uh, this coach has a 12.5 uh, Onan diesel generator on it, and it was fully serviced uh, this week here at my shop. So everything is ready to go. Something else that I want to make sure I mention uh, that you don't see on many of the sport decks, this coach has automatic leveling. Uh, that is correct. It's automatic. It's hydraulic. It's built by Bigfoot Leveler, one of the leading names in the coach leveling system. So automatic leveling systems, very nice. So when you get to the racetrack, campground, wherever you're going, you get out of the coach, you press auto level, and the jacks go down. They do their thing. So nice, so simple to have, okay? Um, 150 gallon fuel capacity, so you got twin 75 gallon tanks up there under the driver and passenger door. It holds 100 gallons of fresh water, and it has uh, twin 45 or 50 gallon tanks. So 100 gallons of fresh, roughly 100 gallons between the gray and black tanks. Um, it's got the big full-size fifth wheel hitch on there, so you can literally pull about whatever you want with this. Uh, previous owner was a uh, tractor puller, so he pulled a big uh, fifth wheel deck trailer to haul his pro stock pulling tractor in. Uh, it also has the 40,000 pound hitch on the back. So 40,000 pound hitch, glad hand fittings for air ride or air brakes. Um, we've got your seven spade RV style marker light plug. And then we've also got the silver one down here, which is uh, if you're pulling a trailer with air brakes, the marker and turn signals and stuff are wired a little differently. So either one got you covered on both of those. Over here on the passenger side, you can see uh, it's got one of the awnings. Um, I'm going to say it's probably 17, 18 foot because it's a 19 foot conversion. And when I say 19 foot conversion, we're talking about from the back of the cab to the back of the box. So 19 foot of living space. Um, the coach is 39 feet overall length. So that's like tip of the front bumper to like the rails where the hitch is at in the back. So 39 foot overall length, 
Height wise, um, I would say to the top of that in motion satellite dome, you can guarantee it's probably 13, 13 2. I mean, 13 6 is supposed to be the legal limit where they stop at, and, and they normally use about every inch of it. So, uh, lots of storage on this side. I think there's three or four bays that open up on this side for storage. On the other side, maybe one bay. I know one of them is uh, your propane. You know, it's got on onboard propane for your furnace and your fridge uh, and your hot water heater. Uh, I know one of the bays over there is the batteries. And I did notice on the date codes on the batteries, one of them was labeled August of 2020. So batteries also pretty fresh on this. Uh, the whole rig has been gone through. We've uh, we've checked the roof, made sure it was sealed up nice and and uh, and airtight to where you don't have any leaks or anything like that. So, take you through the inside. Um, central vac, something that you don't see on many of the toters or excuse me, sport deck motorhomes this size, formerly known as a toter home. I think uh, Renegade went to the. I uh, call them a sport deck motorhome, something to do with the insurance. A lot of insurance companies don't like the word toter, so they called it a sport deck motorhome. Pretty creative. Um, so you walk in the entry door. Let me kind of zoom out here, give you a little better view. There we go. Walk in the entry door, entertainment system here right behind the passenger seat, Sony TV, um, theater, Sony theater system, DVD, ooh, VHS. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, in motion satellite, Direct TV, which that does require a subscription through Direct TV or Dish Network, but you can uh, get all your your channels that you want while you're running down the road. Air ride driver and passenger seat. Again, I mentioned uh, it's got the 465 horsepower uh, Volvo D12 engine in it with the 12 speed Meritor auto shift transmission. So air ride driver and passenger, nice leather seats good condition, very Volvo. Let me say this. Volvo is one of the smoothest, quietest riding trucks you'll ever ride in. And I've rode in a bunch of them. Probably over, I'm going to say three or 400 of these things. And Volvo always has a super quiet cab. They just, they ride good and they're quiet. So um, over here behind the driver's seat, you've got a flex steel sofa that does have a uh, built-in air mattress, hide a bed that comes out. So um, the coach sleeps six people, two in the bunk over the cab, two here on the sofa hide a bed, and then the dinette down there you can see also turns in to a bed. The little center leaf on the table drops down, the cushions come in. Uh, check out the online photo album on our website, chasecoach.com. We usually post 150 to 200 pictures uh, per unit, and if you click them fast enough, it'll look like a movie. Yeah, I'd literally shoot every angle of these things to uh, to give you an idea of what you're looking at. Because a lot of the ones we sell, um, we sell over the phone and we deliver. So you know, the only way that people are typically looking at what they're buying in that situation is the photos and then the video here. So check us out, ChaseCoach.com. Um, so we started there on the entry door. We went to the entertainment system around the cab, around the sofa, dinette. Now, on back on the passenger side, very nice-sized kitchen, okay? Um, double basin sink. We've got a three-burner gas cooktop. Uh, up above that, the black, you can see we've got a convection microwave oven above the gas cooktop. Um, we've got the um, Dometic freezer with a fridge on the bottom. And previous owner, okay, very clean. Check that out. Yeah, that's what we like seeing. Hey, we like that right there too. Made in the USA. Dometic, good company. So freezer on top, fridge on the bottom. Um, again, here we've got a three, or excuse me, I said three. I'm glad to check. Two burner, correction, two burner, gas cooktop. And then we do have the convection microwave oven above. And then we do have the double sink. So, uh, and how about that? A built-in coffee maker. Don't see that very often. That kind of, I don't know. I'm not going to say that goes along with the VHS tape up here. I don't drink coffee, but for your coffee drinkers, you will fall in love with that guy for sure. All right, so tile floor in the kitchen that leads into the bathroom. We got carpet over here on the slide and 
kind of on the other side of the coach, but tile floor that leads into the, uh, from the kitchen into the bathroom, we've got a sliding pocket door, okay? Nice, neat way of doing it. Blocks off the bathroom from the front of the coach and the kitchen. Now, so the difference in like doing like a 19-foot conversion versus a 17-foot, well, the first thing that I notice is the size of the bathroom. You can look on the floor. So these tiles are roughly probably a foot, like 12 inches by 12 inches. I count, going in the bathroom, I count three and a half, okay? And some of these bathrooms, you only count like two to two and a half. So very nice size. Um, we got the uh, shower over in the corner, vanity uh, with a sink and the overhead medicine cabinet and some nice storage cabinets. You'll notice in the photos, I opened all these up, but nice cabinets back here, okay? To uh, hang some clothes, put your shoes, even some overhead cabinets. Um, and one weird idea, and some of you may go, why would you ever do that? If you ever wanted, if you didn't need the extra storage and you wanted bunk beds, my team here at Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer, we could demo these cabinets and make you two bunk beds back here. Now, I know, again, weird bunk beds in the bathroom, but if you needed a bunk toter, you needed extra sleeping space, and you didn't need the cabinets, we are fully capable of doing that. We do all that stuff in-house. Um, we don't sub any of it out. We do it all right here. We've got a fab shop. We've got a woodworking shop, upholstery. We do it all right here in-house. So, um, Toilet there in the corner, again, fiberglass shower. And this one's actually like a little tub. Uh, this was a deal back in 05, 06. You might have saw some of it in 07 or 08, but um, one-piece fiberglass shower slash tub, okay? So shower with a little tub in the bottom. I think it's pretty cool. You don't see that much um, anymore. Well, I say that. Actually, I uh, helped put together a sale recently on a very, very, very expensive motorhome. And one of the main things about the motorhome that the the buyer wanted is it had a tub in it. They said, all you see is showers, and they wanted a tub. So I was calling that kind of an old school way of doing it, but this was on probably a $1.5 million coach that I was uh, a part of selling here about three or four months ago, and the reason the buyer bought it was because it had a little tub in it. So how about that? Um, backup camera works. Everything in the cab functions. Uh, it blows ice cold AC out of the the dash. Uh, you've got one fifteen thousand BTU roof air right there in the middle to take care of the the living quarters back here. But uh, a lot to offer. So let's recap real quick. We've got a two thousand and six model. Renegade Sport Deck Motorhome, 19-foot conversion with um, sleep six people. It's got the rear bath, one slide out, automatic leveling, in-motion satellite. Um, quite a bit going on in this, guy. So let me know if you have any questions. We accept trades. We also have some good financing options and uh, would love to earn your business. My name is Dylan Thompson. I'm with Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales. Uh, we'll put my phone number up there on the screen. Hit that subscribe button. It helps me uh, spread the word. Uh, if you have anyone looking or in the market to buy, sell, trade, consign, we would love to help you out. So we're in Paducah, Kentucky, right off Interstate 24. Easy to get to, uh, a couple hours from Nashville, Tennessee. Or Contour Airlines flies directly into Paducah, right here is from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So easy access and we offer nationwide delivery. So you see this, you like what you see, you want to make a deal, call me and um, we'll bring it right to you. I appreciate you watching. I hope you're having a great day. It's a sunny, 63 and sunny in Paducah. It doesn't get any better. Have a good one. Later.